Once again, Antifa members attacked peaceful demonstrators. And once again, they came to fight, dressed in black, wearing masks, and armed with smoke bombs, shields, and pepper spray. Take a look. <laughs> Our next guest says, no one should be surprised by this violent behavior. Kevin Jackson, radio talk show host, executive director of the Black Sphere and Fox News contributor, joins us to react to this. Kevin, they were stormed. So these were peaceful conservative protesters, stormed by people dressed under masks so that you, that you can't tell who they are, right. dressed in black. They had helmets, they had sticks, and they started beating these peaceful protesters. What's your reaction? How, do you, how does this even occur in America? And first of all, there are only peaceful conservative protests. This type of thing, whether it's involving the Tea Party or whatever, is always peaceful. So the idea that these people are coming to disrupt and they're coming with weapons is ridiculous in this country. And we're hearing about people being told to stand down. They were t told to stand down in Berkeley before the previous protest. They were told to stand down in Charlottesville. So it's like the left is watching this occur and they don't care. So, but there is no surprise. America is fine. And, and I believe this is going to backfire on the left completely in 2018. We're finally witnessing what the left is willing to do. It is an outcry against Donald Trump. It's an outcry against everybody who voted for this man. And, and I think people in America are finally getting sick of it. Why for so long did this so-called mainstream media, though, call them counter-protesters? <laughs> it was never Antifa, never named. Now, finally, some like the Washington Post, you pointed out, and others are finally naming this group as Antifa, attacking peaceful conservative protesters. Well, in this particular case, Pete, I don't know that it was Antifa per se because they were highlighting the black, black members of this group attacking the, the other folks. I actually think this is BLM implanted within Antifa hmm. and sort of being able to have their violence show up and blame it on Antifa. Not that, I mean, both groups are violent, quite sure. frankly, but BLM is, is actually saying if we can hide our, our animus inside of Antifa, then maybe things will go differently. Uh, it, you know, look, the, the fact of the matter is whether it's BLM or it's Antifa, what we're witnessing is something that shouldn't be happening in America because people are, are again, peacefully protesting what we've uh, elected Donald Trump to do and suddenly at every if you even think about having a rally that's for you know counter against the, the for narrative, free speech for free speech <laughs> suddenly you got to worry about are you going to be attacked and I think that's that is the mission of this group is to say if you ever want to have like the one that got canceled I believe in uh, in the on the Bay Area yeah they canceled a, a, a prayer rally I mean people were coming out to pray and they had to cancel it. So I think that the, the goal is to say, we're going to shut you guys down. Of course. That's, I mean, they call themselves anti-fascists, but they're actually fascists. Acting as fascists, yeah. yeah. The irony. Shut you down. So Kathy Griffin's back in the news. <laughs> oh, good. She, listen to what she said about you know, her holding up the decapitated head of the president. This is her latest reaction to that. The whole outrage was BS. The whole thing got so blown out of proportion. And I lost everybody. Like, I had Chelsea Clinton tweeting against me. What did she expect, Kevin? I mean, she's holding up a decapitated head of the president. You know, it, it's hard to believe that we are living in a time where, again, a duly, you know, freely elected president, we have this type of animus. And not only that, rock star status, performing, doing everything that he said. I, I listened to a British guy say the other day, Donald Trump may go down in history as being the only elected official who's actually being hated for living up to his promises. That's right. And, and so you have Kathy Griffin and these, I call them Holly weirdos, these Holly weirdo elites that believe that they're important. She's a, she could, you know, I don't know if it's a B-list, D-list, whatever it is, but she considers herself a D-lister in Hollywood. But in politics, she wants to be an A-lister. And sure. she wants America to believe that Donald Trump is hated. He's not. I flew back with a lady from Chicago, black lady, fit the perfect profile of the typical Democrat voter that voted for Barack Obama. We talked confidentially on the plane. And, and the more people I talk to, the more people I find out really like what's happening in the country. Finally, they see, you know, redemption in, in, in Donald Trump being elected president. Mm. And you have people like this that want to and, and to use the severed head thing. You know, the ISIS thing was just icing on the cake. She's for just this. Missed, the, missed it totally. I mean, she's the reason for out this controversy. Touch. She's the one that did that. And she's blaming everyone else. She's playing the victim card. All right, you're going to be on out number today. I will be. We'll be watching. There we go. Yeah. If you didn't get enough Kevin Jackson, you can have more. Later. Fox News Radio, too. There we, we like go. We're like a cowbell. We need more <laughs> Kevin Jackson. <laughs> Thanks, Indeed. Kevin. Thank you, sir.